Hey guys, I hope you are having a great day and this is the story about how we tried to fly and as you saw, ultimately crashed a drone. A friend of mine had built a drone when he was in college and it was pretty big, like big enough to carry a GoPro, which I had. So we came up with this idea of attaching the GoPro onto the drone and then flying it above so that we get some cool cinematic shots from the air. And one early morning we headed out to this scenic lake in Bangalore. It's the same place that we flew the DJI Mavic Pro. If you haven't checked it out, links in the description. Go watch my earlier video. <laughs> anyway, we finally reach the place, we set up the drone, we make sure it's fine-tuned so that it's perfectly balanced. Give it a trial run or two. Oh, you got a music. And everything looks good. Then you attach the GoPro which is the payload to the bottom of it and this is when things get complicated. Yeah, that's the GoPro. Yeah. The drone requires a lot more power to take off because of the extra weight. And the drone isn't that advanced. It didn't have all the sensors to control all that weight. So when it took off... Oh! It's flying! It's going! It's... It took off. No, it works, but bring it back! I'm working on it! One, two, three, do it! Oh shit, oh shit. And my friend is not able to control it all that well. It starts veering off towards the bushes and... Try to get it off by powering up the drone and flying it up again. The more power we put it into it, the more it sunk in. There were some kids over there who were intrigued by this flying object and decided to help us out a little bit. The drone was pretty inaccessible. It was stuck on the top of the bush while the bottom of the bush was filled with thorns. So this is what we ended up doing. A kid got on my shoulders, I raised him up so that he can reach over the bush. His reach wasn't all that great. So I literally had to push myself forward into this maze of thorns which are poking at my face. Huh, thankfully I had the beard. No, I'm just kidding. It was still pretty painful. But it was either that or lose the GoPro. We weren't gonna lose the GoPro. And after 15 minutes of trying to claw it out, we eventually got it. The drone was, mm, the drone wasn't in the best state that it could be in. So I guess uh, it's been a good learning experience. One missing propeller, there's one uh, broken water mount. But it would pain cost to us bro. So keep in mind not to uh, fly the bush. You need to go other way. Yeah, I think we need a time. better pilot. Going in the lake next time. I agree with that. Thing. Right, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Shh, shh. I kind of forgot about building the shelf while making this video, so got this and a baseball 
souvenir from my friend Shashank. Really close dude who I've known for 12 years. Thanks buddy. Okay, that stays on top of that until you find a stand for that. Also, I kind of broke the LED, so I'm waiting for replacement. Alright, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Dude, what are you doing? You gotta rebuild the drone.